Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, guys. Uh, so, we got a guest on Come On Mountain this morning. Uh, Drew was showed up last night about, what, 6 o'clock? Yeah. About 6 o'clock. Uh, he was going to come a little earlier. He ended up having to run those errands, and those errands get a little crazy sometimes. So, he didn't get here until later, so we didn't get a chance to get up on... Uh, the building part like I talked about yesterday but I did get quite a bit done uh, I got all the blocking put in uh, I got all the tails cut and I got the two runs at the top and bottom that the metal is gonna set on so today we are going to put the rest of those up and go ahead and get this thing decked and maybe even start for, uh, forming up this thing for the concrete today in theory excited about it I'm ready man I'm ready I'm ready to work <laughs> Uh, he doesn't have a ton of construction uh, experience. experience, I guess. <laughs> but uh, he's going to learn some stuff today. I'm excited about that. I'm excited about having another set of hands because let me tell you what, when I was measuring from there to there yesterday, there's a big gap. That was a pain in the rump shaker. <laughs> Boy, look here. That tape fell on me like 10 times. Uh, I don't know if I got it on camera or not. I might. I don't know if I was filming at that time, but trust me, by the time it was over with, I was pretty frustrated. I got my measurement, though. I worked it out. You know, it's all about that persistence. I thought I'd seen Ryder. He's on my back. <laughs> so uh, tell the people who you are and what your channel is and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, my name's Drew. Uh, my channel's Drew's Lens. I live about... 30 or 45 minutes from David, but it's only 25 miles, just takes a while to get there. But um, I've been traveling the country for the past couple months. I just got home this week, and right now I don't have a job lined up, so I did end up landing one, but while I had the free time, I was like, man, I'd come pitch in, you know, help out some of my friends, you know, and like David said, I don't have a lot of experience uh, in building, so anytime I can get my hands, you know, in on that and learn a little bit, I, I like to do that, you know, so. Uh, it's a good opportunity for me, and like you said, sometimes it's just nice to have another set of hands, you know what I mean, to, to hand you a board or get this, I don't have to climb down and all that, you know, so. Or even to just talk to you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, I don't really, uh, being that I film all the time, I don't really listen to the radio whenever I build. Like, when I used to build, I'd always have a radio blaring, like, just jamming and, and working. But when you're filming, you can't do that because of the copyright stuff, right? So, a lot of times I'm working in silence out here, and uh, I just talk to the cat and the dog <laughs> basically all day long. So it makes for long days sometimes. So it's cool to uh, have people out here to work with you every once in a while. And you get twice as much done, and as long as you work the way you should work, you should have a good time. Yeah. And uh, I learned, I, I mean, he, he's a lot like me. He reminds me of a younger me. He's always helping people, which I always help people. And he's always wanting to try new things to learn new new trades and that's kind of how i've learned how to do everything i know how to do is because if i seen something interested i'd jump in there and help them you know here teach me this why why are we doing this that's how i learned how to do stucco a lot of the building stuff that's how i know how to run a forklift because i seen a dude on a job site riding a forklift i was like man now that looks cool <laughs> and so i went up there introduced myself started chatting with him and stuff and got him to teach me how to run a forklift you know just because that was cool, and now I've ran all kinds of different types of forklift, including oh, big sexy behind me, old <laughs> Uber. Um, so yeah, that's how you learn. So um, if he can get anything out of coming out here to help me and uh, learn something, that's great. And uh, I'm sure I'll learn something from him too. You know, you got to learn something every day, every day. The kids are a lot calmer this morning <laughs> than they was yesterday. Um, I've already been out here for a while. We kind of got a little bit of a late start this morning we stayed up kind of late last night and then i just man it was cold this morning yeah, it was it like was. what like 40 yeah. 40 something degrees i didn't look but it was chilly yeah right i actually had to use the heater the uh this morning and i can't believe it after a year heat still rises, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, heat rises. Heat rises. Uh, yeah but that heater i mean it knocked the chill out of that cabin like in five minutes yep. it, it's insane that heater that heater does his job <laughs> yeah. for sure so we got some coffee in us and stuff i had a friend that uh birthday was today so happy birthday dom um 
you getting older, and uh, I think you're getting uglier, too. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding, buddy. Happy birthday. I hope you have a great day, man. You deserve it. Good dude. But uh, this one ain't going to be a real long one today because uh, we're already running behind. And my goal today is, is to get this roof on this thing. So if we can get the roof on today, I'll feel like that's a successful day. This is the bigger section, so it's taking a little bit longer than the uh, lean-to section. There's so many blocks and blocking and, and different stuff that you got to put in there. I mean, there's like 20-something blockings that you had to put in, so I had to cut all of those, measure each one, all of that. That took a little time yesterday. But it's changed quite a bit since you've been out here. He's been out here one other time. It was kind of bright at nighttime, so he didn't get to see the property but he's been following my channel for a while what yeah. you think a little different yeah yeah it's a lot different <laughs> uh, i remember when we came like you said it was at night you know and I, but i remember there was a lot more trees and stuff you know yeah. and um i mean it, a lot of it's changed there was no rock around the cabin you know it's cleaned up <laughs> looks a lot better you know and yeah. stuff so uh you've been working man there's nobody can, can t <laughs> contest that because uh you've been working i know that yeah i've been here i moved here right the week before april the first so say april may june july august september right at six months yeah right at six months so half a year and i'm happy i'm happy with the progress for a happy half a year i mean yeah. just the land clearing alone yeah it is a ton but the, like you said the rock around the cabin the outdoor kitchen and now this mammoth <laughs> structure i'm building right here um this is quite the pump house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah, I mean, you say this isn't uh, like your traditional little, you know, yeah. little four by four little little pump house. You know, this this is a this is a tiny house basically. Yeah. I, I mean, it's the size of a tiny house, and uh, and I'm gonna build it very similar to a tiny house, except for I'm not gonna do. I don't think I'm gonna do 16 inch on centers. I think I'm just gonna stick with the two foot on centers, just because it is a well house. The solar house pump house it, it's not a house so yeah. i don't really think I, I need to overkill it with 16 inches on center another um, thing we don't really have a snow load or anything you yeah know, it's not like we get a bunch of snow yeah i mean so. we get an average snowfall of what 12 inches a year i think it is yeah, something like that low, that'd be crazy you know so i i don't think we really need it um i mean the only one thing on this side would be the solar panels that's on the roof but the Tr or the trusses and stuff not trusses but uh rafters that i got up there plenty plenty strong enough to hold all of that especially once i put all the walls in and stuff so yeah i ain't too worried about it that and also cost right i, I mean man wood is freaking re expensive right now i mean that hundred two by fours that i bought over there oh lord look at here oh. so so yeah i don't need to put double the amount of two by fours in the wall if i don't need to so I think it's going to be fun today, though. It's finally warmed up. I think it's going to be a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. Not one. Like, nowhere. It is nothing but blue skies. I think it's going to be perfect working weather. I think it's going to be in the low 80s. I think it's going to be like 81 degrees today, 82 degrees. And, man, that is like my favorite weather to work in. Shame. So, I think once we get off here and get to, uh, going, I think we're going to accomplish a lot today, guys. Um, he's putting out a video um every day right now yeah. tell them why <laughs> yeah so i um i was struggling to get videos uploaded on the road just uh lack of power supply and stuff but so now i've got a bunch of footage that i haven't uploaded yet um so i've just been crushing it out just trying to put out one a day and just get caught up because i don't want to be making videos all the way until december about my trip during september so um so yeah uh, if you guys want to go check it out, I've been uh, pumping out videos every day, and I probably got eight or ten more. So, um, yeah. And also, he's filming now. So once the trip vlog is over, then he's going to move into what he really does on a day to day. You know, he helps out a ton of people. He's always at different homesteads and stuff like that, helping, like y'all see me do. And a uh, phenomenal mechanic. And uh, he's always finding the deals on the old vehicles and yeah. motors. If, if you need a, a part, yeah, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the man right there. And we're very similar in a lot of ways. Um, 
you know, the help in the community thing is big with me, and uh, he is a big component of that. If you go back on his channel and watch, I would say just about half of it is him helping somebody. So I like that. I respect that. So if I can help him in any way, I will. And uh, as you can see, he's out here helping me. Yeah, so time to grind. That that's uh that's what it's all about. It's, it's family, right? Yeah. You know. But yeah, this is probably gonna be the shortest one I've done in a while because I am itching to get to work. Uh, the day is slipping past us, so I'm probably gonna go ahead and get off here. I will put all of his information in the description, and uh, probably put a card somewhere around there. I always just point at both. That way, I, I, I don't mess up because I never can remember. <laughs> which side it's on so we're yeah. gonna put it right around there. <laughs> and uh also he will be in the video tomorrow on come on homesteading as well um i'll be editing that tonight after work it's gonna be a long day guys and then uh yeah we're gonna try to get it done so until we see each other again guys come on keep it real thank you guys